platform assembly weighs 250 pounds with a center of gravity at G1. I want to know how much weight I have to put over here at B so that I can put 400 pounds of weight at G2 in the basket. What's the counterweight that I need so that my 250 pounds here doesn't tip over due to my 400 pounds there? Both of the wheels are simply setting on the ground, so I'm going to have two normal reactions at the wheels, CY and DY. The other thing I need on my free body diagram is distances. This is 1 feet, 6 feet, 1 feet, and 2 feet. That's what I've got. For the sum of the forces in the x direction, I have 0 equals 0. Sum of the forces in y, I have it CY minus W minus 250 plus DY minus 400 equals 0. I also am going to need the sum of the moments. This is a rigid body and it's going to tip. I have to pick where I want to take the moments about. And in this case, I've picked D because it seemed convenient at the time. So CY will spin this. It will have a moment at D with a moment arm of 8. That will be going clockwise. The weight acts up with a moment arm of 7 in the opposite direction, as does the 250-pound weight of the whole platform that acts only one feet foot away from D in the counterclockwise direction and the 400 pound load out there at two feet is trying to tip me over. So that's going to be in the same direction as CY. Those things have to equal zero. DY doesn't show up because it goes through the point I'm taking the moment about. This gives me three unknowns, CY, DY, and W, and two useful equations, which is not enough. So you have to go back to the problem. What, what do you want to know? You want to know when it's going to not tip over. What happens when it tips over? When it taps over, CY is not touching the ground anymore. If it's not touching the ground anymore, we can say the platform will tip over when CY goes to zero. If W is really big, CY has to be large to hold up the platform from falling through the floor. But as W gets to be just exactly the right size, the platform will not need the wheel at C. It'll just perfectly balance on the wheel at D. This lets me go back to the sum of the moments equation and say I've got now minus 7W plus 550 equals 0. This is from my sum of the moments, and I can solve to say W is 78.6 pounds, which is what I wanted to know. Note that I don't actually care what DY was because I wasn't asked for it, and... All I need to do is answer the question.